The Resource Centre for Civic Education has condemned the willful disobedience of the court orders by the Department of State Services, DSS. The centre says the continuous disobedience to orders of the court is damaging the nation's democracy and eroding the trust of Nigerians on the judiciary. Its executive director, Ibrahim Ziki Rulahi, while calling on the DSS to release all political prisoners who have been granted bail by the courts, also took a swipe at the attempt by the National Assembly to enact a social media law. He urged lawmakers to show restraint in their actions, saying political power is transient and not permanent. Therefore, when we full and flagrant disobedience of court orders is being instituted as a caution by the government, the very dangerous message being passed to citizens is that the government is above the law. The effect of such reckless erosion of a, pil a prime pillar of law and order is that citizens will stop believing in the efficacy of the judicial process and its outcome. The end result of such arrogant behavior is anarchy. Crasset calls on all institutions of the state, particularly the Department of State Service, DSS, which has been depriving citizens of their freedoms in defiance of court orders to understand the damage that their impunity is doing to the stability and orderly governance of our country. Crasset similarly condemns the emerging culture of abuse and abridgment of citizen rights and their attacks on free press. The political elite are acting on the basis that they are untouchable because they are in control of political power today. This feeling of invisibility is giving them the confidence that the draconian legislations they are trying to enact will only be used to hold others into jail. Little do they realize that the power which they will today is transient. The rabid champions of this legislation do not seem to realize that if they do not tread with caution, they could someday become victims of the very legislation which they are attempting to enact to harass other citizens. Krasel wishes to admonish the arrowheads of these discredited beasts to rather shift their focus to more productive ventures, including legislating to tackle dilapidated health infrastructure, collapse education system, poverty, crimes, unemployment, corruption, and terrorism.